Hello friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Edda. Today in this video we will discuss how to compute vapor liquid equilibrium data by using Rolle's law and Dalton's law and how to construct TXY diagram. So let's see an example. The vapor pressures of N-hexane and N-octane are given in the following table. N-hexane and N-octane may be expected to form ideal solutions. Compute the vapor liquid equilibrium compositions. And construct a TXY plot for the system at a total pressure of 101.3 kPa. So in this example, we have given data of vapor pressures of N-hexane and N-octane at various temperature. And from this data, we have to compute vapor liquid equilibrium data. Then we can construct TXY plot. Now let's solve the sum. So let more volatile component N hexane be A and less volatile component N octane be B. By using Dalton's law and Rolle's law, we get an equation for the mole fraction of component A. That is hexane in liquid and vapor phase as x is equal to p minus pb0 divided by pa0 minus pb0 and y is equal to pa0 into xa divided by p where x is the mole fraction of hexane in liquid phase and y is the mole fraction of hexane in vapor phase pa0 is the vapor pressure of hexane pb0 is the vapor pressure of octane P is the total pressure. So using this equation we get X and Y values at a specific temperature. As in the table, we have given data as at specific temperature. pH0 is the vapor pressure of hexane which we assume as PA0. PO0 is the vapor pressure of octane which we assume as PB0. So let's calculate X, Y values at a specific temperature. From table, we can see that at temperature 341.7 Kelvin. PA0 that is the vapor pressure of hexane is 101.3 kPa. And PB0 that is the vapor pressure of octane is 16.1 kPa. And the total pressure that is P is equal to 101.3 kPa. So as we know the formula for X is P minus PB0 divided by PA0 minus PB0. After putting the values and solving it we get x is equal to 1. Now let's calculate y. So y is equal to pa0 into xa divided by p. So after putting the values and solving it we get y is equal to 1. Similarly, let's find x and y for t is equal to 352.4 Kelvin. At t is equal to 352.4 Kelvin. PA0 is equal to 136.6 kPa. PB0 is equal to 23.1 kPa. So after putting the values and solving it we get X is equal to 0 0.689. Similarly the value of Y calculated as Y is equal to 0 0.93. So similarly we can calculate X and Y values for the remaining temperatures which is shown in the table. So this is vapor liquid equilibrium data. Now using this data we can construct TXY plot. For that, on the X axis we take X and Y values. And on the Y axis we can take the temperature. Now let's draw T versus X curve and T versus Y curve using the point from the table. So this is TXY plot. The liquid represented by any point on the lower curve is at its bubble point. And hence the lower curve is called the saturated liquid curve. Or the bubble point temperature curve. Or T versus X plot. And the condensation starts at any point on the upper curve. And hence the upper curve is called as saturated vapor curve. Or the dew point temperature curve. Or T versus Y plot. Then. On the ordinate. Through x equals 0, y equals 0, 398.6 Kelvin is the boiling point of octane. And on the ordinate. Through x equals 1, y equals 1, 341.7 is the boiling point of hexane. 
So that's all about how to calculate vapor liquid equilibrium data using Rolt's law and Dalton's law. And how to construct TXY plot. In the next video we will see another topic. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Edda.